I'm gonna show you how to edit videos inside of VN on your iPhone or Android device. And I hate long intros, so let's get into the content. To get started inside of VN, all we have to do is click the plus button here and then click new project. You also see 92 remaining projects. You only have a certain amount you can use and then you'll have to end up paying, which will be for a while since we have 92 projects. So I'm gonna click new project here. I'm gonna click video based, saved. And then I'm gonna select the footage I wanna use, which is this video right here uh, or if you want to select more clips you can do that and then I'm going to click the arrow here to go to the next section inside the editor here you've got your preview screen of your video you got play and pause here you got your timeline this is where we're gonna add different video clips text music etc and then down here you're gonna find generic settings like changing the volume cropping a video in uh, changing the aspect ratio. You're gonna find a lot of those settings down here to really adjust your video. Now we've already added our footage in, but if you need to, you can always scroll to the end here and click this plus button. And that's gonna take you right back to your uh, video and photo gallery. I don't need to add anything else. So I'm just gonna click the X button. You can also delete this ending promotional piece. I'm just gonna do that because uh, I don't need, you know, watermark promotion or anything like that. Now let's get started editing our video. To do this, all we have to do is select our video clip here. And there's two different ways you can kind of trim your videos and get them to the point you want them to be. Uh, you can always click on your video and then using your finger, you can just drag this over right to the point where you're about to talk. And you can notice at the bottom there, there are audio bumps. So I can drag right up to the audio bumps and that'll work for starting my video. But I will say editing like this can be a little inaccurate. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna click the back button here to reverse that action. Is I like to scroll to the point where I'm about to start talking. And then what I like to do is click the split button down here, which will cut the video clip in half. And then I'll just delete this beginning part from my video. And this is especially useful as we get deeper into editing, because then I can scroll to the end of the point where I'm talking here. So I give a little intro to my video, and then I can click the split button here, and I can scroll past this gap of me drinking my water to the next sentence I say, which looks like it begins right here. I can click the split button again, and now I can delete this empty section in between my two sentences. And now I've just connected these two sentences together deleting that empty gap where I'm drinking water. And then I can do that again right here, split, go to the next part where I'm about to start talking, split again, delete the in-between. And there we go, I've now like edited my video here and connected all my clips. And like I said earlier, with your video selected, you're gonna find all these settings on the bottom. For example, like filters, uh, which also has the adjust tab. If you wanna adjust like the, the brightness of your video or make it darker, you're gonna have all those abilities in the filter section. Uh, there's different uh, transitions you can add, changing the speed, like you can scroll through these and kind of explore them. One thing that's not down here is the aspect ratio. You do have to go all the way up here. And this is basically the format of your video. So if you're doing like a YouTube video, it's a 16 by nine. If it's a TikTok or a short, you're gonna do nine by 16 and that'll put it in the correct parameters. So if I want, I could do nine by 16, that's gonna you know do that effect. Uh, and then I would just need to adjust my video here and zoom it in, which usually you can just click on your video here and you can just drag it with your fingers. I like to pinch with my fingers to zoom in and then I can rearrange this. And there we go. Now I have it uh, zoomed in to where if I wanted to make it a short or I can just click the back button and we'll just reverse all that and get back to here. Now, if you wanna add music and some of the other effects, you'll find right above the timeline here with the video clips, all the different things we can add. Let's start at the top. If you wanna add music, you just gotta click the music button here and then click music. And it's gonna take you to a music library that's built into InShot. I will give you a warning though. Some of the music in here is copyrighted, which means if you use it on YouTube or another platform, you could get a copyright claim and it could affect your ability to monetize your channel. Now, the way I get around this is I use a music subscription site like Epidemic Sound that allows me to use their music anywhere online. If you're interested in checking that out, I will have a free trial affiliate link in the description. You can go test it out, see if it's right for you. And I actually have already downloaded some music from Epidemic Sound. So all I gotta do is go to my music and then I'm gonna click on these three dots here and go to my file app. And here I've got a song. I'm gonna click on that and click open. And then I'm just gonna open this album. I'm gonna click uh, 
use on this song. And then I can also adjust the volume here. So I'm gonna drop that down pretty low. And I can also fade it in, fade it out, etc. And then I'm just gonna click the check mark here. And there we go, that is all set. And if I scroll ahead, you'll see it's gonna extend for the full length of the video in there. If you wanna add text, all you gotta do is click the text button here and then click text. You'll have a whole bunch of different text options to choose from. You can easily click on it. You can uh, change the font, you know, customize it change the color and things like that. And then you can also use your finger to put it anywhere on screen. And then if you click on motion, you're gonna find things like transitions where if you want the text to fade in, fade out, you'll be able to do all those there. And then just like with the editor, you can grab either edge of it to extend it or shorten it. You can also rearrange it. So if you want it to come in later, you can just drag it down further that way. You've got that full ability there. And then this tap to add sticker slash PIP will allow you to add photos on top of your video if you want a photo to pop up or videos on top of videos. Like let's say you're playing a game and you want yourself in the corner. You could do that with the picture in picture effect. And then when you are finally done, you can just click the export button up here and that's going to save it to your phone. And then you can open a YouTube app, TikTok, etc., and upload your file there. And hey, speaking of YouTube, if you are someone who is trying to upload videos to YouTube. I actually have a YouTube starter kit on my website that actually has free thumbnail templates, YouTube training, different guides that you can access for free. So if you're interested, I'll have that linked in the description or you can find it on colinmichael.com. And if you wanna learn some more advanced editing tips that you can do inside of VN, you can actually click on this video. I made this a while ago. If you want me to update this, comment down below, let me know. I'll make another advanced editing tips and show you some more tricks that you can do inside of VN.